So now at this point, we will be doing your casual interview. So let's begin with our candidate number one, Ms. Maria Rose Pereira. Mia Rose. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. So Mia, can I call you Mia? Yes. Okay, Mia. So what do you think is your life lesson that you can share? Not just here at Batangas, not here in the Philippines, but to the world. Um, may ibigay ko po ang inspiration para sa lahat po ng mga nanay. As a young mom and a single mother, sa yung taong single mother, single mother and a young mom, na kahit nagkaroon ako ng maagang responsibilidad, tinanggap ko yon, nagpakatatag ako, naging matapang, at ngayon tumatayo ako dito sa Mrs. Batangas, Philippines candidate, bilang isang nanay na naging matatag sa lahat ng pagsubok. Yun lang po. Thank you very much, Mia. And thank you for your strong message to all the senior models. Now, good evening, candidate number two. Hi, good evening. Good evening to all. Miss Maria Paz Manali. Tama po. Yeah. Um, can I call you Paz or Ria? Ria. Ria. All right. So, Ria, uh, what was the impact? Ang yung naging impact ng Mrs. Batangas Philippines sa'yo? Yung impact ng Mrs. Batangas Philippines sa akin is nabigyan ng opportunity ako, um, kahit housewife lang ako, nabigyan ako ng opportunity to showcase my talent and abilities. Hindi lang sa pansarili, kundi para din sa lahat. At nagkakaroon din ng, ako ng paraan para mas makatulong pa sa iba. Thank you very much for sharing that. And yes, that's actually the purpose of this pageant para magkaroon tayo ng mga uh, may share natin ang ating mga inspiring stories na candidate number 3 Happy Women's Week Month po sa lahat ng mga nanay na nandito. Alright, thank you very much. Palakpapan natin our batch one of Mrs. Batangas Philippines 2024 in their casual interview. Good 
get that one out. Okay. Maybe. All right. So, JP, what is your biggest dream? Ang pinaka pangarap ko po sa buhay ay ang mapagtapos po ang aking dalawang anak. Lalo na po ang aking panganay na meron siyang special needs. Para pag dumating ang panahon na siya naman yung magiging tatay ng tahanan, handa siyang gampanan ang kanyang tungkulin. Ayun lang po. Thank you very much. Now, let's hear it from Risha Victoria Asses. From Asses Bowen Baanis. Magandang gabi po siya. Alright. So, you do have your advocacies, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, what's your plan in promoting your chosen advocacy? My chosen advocacy is to give extra attention and love to those children who need special, who have, a, who have a special needs. And actually, I had my part two of my project as entitled, Laruan Mo Noo Na Pinasaya Ikaw Naman Ngayon. Where my students had donated their favorite stuff toys to those children that is in, in a SPED program. And sabi ko nga, ipagpapatuloy ko ito hanggang sa habot ng aking makakaya. Kasi po ang mga bata ay malapit talaga sa aking mga puso. Meron po akong anak na meron din special needs pero kita ko po sa aking anak na hindi ito kahinahan. Kita ko sa kanya na pinipilit niya makipagsabayan sa lahat ng normal na bata. Yun lamang po, pagtanggap para sa libro. Or shall I say tonight? How would you maximize this platform for your advocacy? Thank you for that question. Kung sa kaling ako man mo ay magkuli ng tagumpay, ng major na tagumpay na yung gabi, bilang isang dating na dito na sweet leader, ipagpapatuloy ko ang aking advocacia, ang humanitarian services, na ako ay makulahok sa lahat ng advokasya ng aking kapwa kandidata and I will fit in in all the advocacies ng aking co-candidates. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Ate Konsi. Now, let's hear from Maria Cristina Buangla. Yes, good evening. Alright, so um, your profession is teaching. You are okay, so you are a teacher. So it isn't easy, no? I mean, teacher and then you know, deliverables, right? But what is your message para sa inyo mga sa yung mga estudyante now that let's say you already have this big platform which you can use to inspire? So what would be your message? to your um, uh, students now that you're a beauty queen slash teacher. By the way, good evening everyone to the panel of judges, guests, and of course to my fellow Batangueños. Thank you for that amazing question, madam. Well, for me, all I can say is that I'm always saying to my students, sa Tagalog ko sasabihin, Pag-ibigan naki aking nakilala, di dapat palakhi ang bata sa saya. At sa katuwa ay kapag namihasa, kung lumaki walang hihinting ginhawa. I will use this platform for me to let my students and of course my fellow Batanggenos and Filipinos to discover their beauty inside and of course for them to give importance to our core values ang pagiging mga Diyos, mga tao, mga kalikasan, and mga bansa. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Maria Cristina Gumangla. Now, let's hear it from Ms. Lysel Rockaford. Magandang gabi. Alright. So, Lysel, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Lysel. So, your advocacy focus focuses on children with special needs, right? Yes, so what were your activities in the past for you to support this um, advocacy? Actually, throughout my journey, I witnessed the transformative power of education. So I've also seen that 
there is a barriers that children with special needs face in accessing this fundamental right. So no one, I believe that no one should be excluded. So I'm going to promote and I'm going to target on breaking down these barriers by promoting inclusive uh, education, educational environment. So that is my advocacy last uh, every year. So I'm going to promote inclusive education and promoting environmental for a good environment for my special needs children, posting that they feel valued, supported, and empowered to learn and grow. Because I believe it's about making differences, and I'm here to champion the cause of inclusivity and equal opportunities for all. Sabi nga nila, kailangan bilang isang guro, maging mahusay ka, mas mahusay, at pinakamahusay. Hanggang ang mahusay ay maging mas mahusay, at ang mas mahusay ay maging pinakamahusay. Yun lang po. Thank you. Hi. Hey ladies. Good evening. Good evening. Right. So first off, Miss Marisol Reyes Tan. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Good evening, good evening judges. Good evening to all the Nalisenos. So I read your profile and I saw the term self-love. What is the story behind this? The story behind of self-love is about self to myself. I need to find my uh, own happiness now because uh, binigay ko na lahat sa anak ko, sa asawa ko. So it's time for me to, to find my own happiness. Thank you very much. Magandang gabi, Miss Bernardita Katsangka. So thank you for uh, highlighting that and you mentioned earlier you are already 64, right? Yes, I am 64. I am proud to be a senior, a senior with a reason. Yes. Now, Miss Bernardita, can you share with us your inspirational story? Oh, if I have to tell them from A to Z, the night is very short. Okay, I would be starting, um, I have five children. My husband left me, he died, 2006, and I was the one left alone caring for the five kids. Ika nga, partida pa yung panganay na autistic. And then uh, four of them, I become the chunk of all trades. Meeting just to meet both ends, I would do all our jobs. I would make night into a day and day into a night. I don't like Fridays. You know why? Walang tao ng anak ko. That is my rest day. The most that I hated the most is Sunday because I would be thinking of what is to have for tomorrow. But in spite of that, I stand up. In every fall, I stand up. Um, I just I just pray so hard really and work on it. So I produce two summa cum laudes. Four of them are scholars. I won't be mentioning who those people who help me out in bringing I mean, the courses that they have now. Two accountants, one engineer, and an HRM graduate. I hope to them. Yeah, now I'm here, a senior with an advocacy that I wanted to impart. I've got lots of scholars, if you don't mind me saying. Um, actually, I have numbered way back um, 2013. I'm doing this before the before the pageant. So if I'm gonna win, I will continue up to the end. Thank you very much. It's very nice to for sharing that wonderful story. Inspirational indeed. Thank you to Matt. Good evening, Catherine. Okay. Now, Catherine, what is your great source of happiness? The great source of happiness is my kids. Because right now, I'm a solo parent. Kaya po ang pinaka napapasaya sa akin ngayon ang anak ko po. Seven years na po ako malo. Kaya po ginagawa ko po lahat para sa anak ko. Kahit gayon pa rin na po talaga ako para sa kanya. I'm 
currently working as a barangay nutrition scholar. I'm a volunteer. Kaya hindi po ganun talaga yung sinusweldo ko. Pero gumagawa po ako ng mga racket. Kasi alam po na hindi po sasapat. Ayaw po yun. Ang pinaka nagpapasaya po sa akin talaga ngayon. Ayaw ka na po.